You probably hearing a lot of rumors and shit that you don't live in Chicago no more, bro. <laughs> Ain't no more fucking rumors. <laughs> yeah. That's the facts. Yeah, man. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it where you at, bro? Is this? Is it saying? Cause look, I hear a lot of rumors that when you go other places, bro, they show you a whole bunch of love. Is you getting treated like a rock star where you at? Man, you know, I get treated. I get love wherever I go, man. But it was just time, man. Just spam, man. You know, motherfucker. Motherfucker, 26 years old. I'm there, and I'm gonna be 30 real soon. So either it's gonna be, I'm gonna stay in Chicago, and have to kill a motherfucker, I'm gonna kill me or something. You feel me? So right. before that, before that happened, man, I can't do nothing but get me and my straight. So I'm gonna go down, you know, got the crib, you know, and you gonna see the whole gang out in this bitch. Alright, bro, is it still, though, you know, do, I know you get recognized everywhere, you got millions of views, but do you still find yourself looking over your shoulders, or it's a little bit better? No, I don't gotta look over my shoulder, out here at all. Alright. Comfortable. Alright. But you know, shit don't change, you know, we still gotta live bitches wherever we at, you know what I'm saying? Right. Bro, you know, it's a video that's trending like hell of a pastor talking about, you know, gang leaders and people with, with clout kind of was talking to him, telling him about ending the violence and shit with Donald Trump. Do you think, Donald, do you think it, the violence will ever slow down, bro, or would it take street people to slow it down, bro? Uh, violence will always happen wherever, man. It's going to always happen, man. Most of going to be clipped every day, man. It ain't going to never stop, you know? Right. It's up, to to take, it's up to you to make that change in your life and do something different, you feel me? Right. Not to glorify. If, if, you see a, if you see a big ass hole in the ground and you fell in that bitch once and you get out that bitch and walk around and fall in that bitch again and again and again and again, right. that's enough, that you little hole there. weeks ago, a rapper from Chicago, Lil Mister, had posted a post saying that he talked to Snapdog and everything is okay. Is everything all right with Skeezy World and Snapdog? I mean, I, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't holler at the nigga. You know, he just said whatever the fuck he had said, right? <laughs> really? I'm on the internet because I'm in the I'm in the music business, and, and you know I gotta keep myself relevant. But other than that, man, we got other shit going on beyond beyond this rap shit, man. Like niggas don't just get rap money, man. Motherfuckers really out here getting out the mud. You feel me? Right. He ain't putting his foreign collar. Oh, uh, uh, he ain't doing this. He ain't doing that. He ain't doing this crib. What's up, man? Huh? You all rock like cut off socks, keep the bitch purse in my pocket. You yeah, did. yeah. Bitch in a full buggy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, little nigga down there. Hey. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Gang in this bitch. How the gang in this bitch? Yeah, yeah. You good, though? Hey, 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 hey. That way, bro. Uh, what's going on? Y'all know what the fuck, fuck going on, man. Out here? Whoa, oh, yeah, we are in Cali. Chirac, L.A., Cali. Y'all yeah, know the fuck going on. New York? Nobody. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. waking up. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Come on, man. What's going on? Yeah. Uh huh. That way. Come again. What you say? Yeah, I was say we always there, man. That way. What's going on, buddy? We in Cali right now. Like you know, street niggas. A nigga got a gun to protect himself. 
Right. But at the end of the day, at the end of Bro, the day. Bro, you telling me you was at the crib though for real when he got where, where the attack went down on Ramsey for real? Grandma's crazy. Ramsey and Uncle Rose share a house, man. That's what all that shit was about, man. Nigga, I, I was in there with Uncle Rose White, and everything. Uncle Rose was chief keep manager, man. Right. I said we stayed in that house for a whole week. Right. A whole week. Chief keep door the cars in the yard. The, the motherfucking uh. But Lalo Rims, he had on the motherfucking Audi in the yard. I got pictures of all that shit, man. Right. Man, look, niggas know who to play with. Niggas waited till we left and pulled that bitch ass shit with Rams. You feel me? Right. Niggas know, nigga. On my Instagram, nigga, I took a picture in front of two BMWs sitting on the ground with the money on the ground. That's Uncle Roe Kai and his wife Kai. Right. In front of their house. <laughs> For real. Right. Man. This shit crazy. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Ramsey. Ramsey's not a street nigga, bro. You you set yourself up for failure, man. You know? Right. At the end of the day, Ramsey's gonna get a bag off that shit because it's gonna be either I could keep going on with this case or you can pay me. Right. So he put himself in that predicament to play with a nigga like Ramsey. Ramsey don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck if you go to jail or none of that shit. At the end of the day, you feel me? Right. Hey, that's man, true. He ain't no street nigga. He ain't, you know, he don't play by no code. The nigga not that really for the United States. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Man, I want to ask you, bro. You know, I just recently interviewed a guy named Harry J from Chicago, and he was talking about Lil J. And you didn't get name dropped or anything. I seen you recently post a post a Lil J uh, campaign fund. Is everything okay there? I mean, it's all good, man. You know, niggas be niggas, man. You know, we spent a lot of, you know, over some. Shit, we should have never fell out, but you know, it wasn't nothing. It's just I don't like snake shit. You feel me? But at the end of the day, that's my brother. You feel me? At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. I've been shot by niggas and they ain't in jail. You feel me? <laughs> right. I don't, don't want to see no nigga locked up, nigga. You feel me? Right. I don't want to see your ass gone, but not my homies. I'm just saying the other niggas. Right. You I feel me? you. Well, but at the end of the day, that jail shit ain't for nobody, man. You know? Right. Come on, man. At the end of the day, he pulled what he pulled, but don't no man deserve to be gone and they're fighting for their life, man. I've been, I've been in the penitentiary. I've been in the county. I did all that. That shit ain't what's up, you feel me? Right. At the end of the day, man, Lil J talk, you know. At the end of the day, a nigga locked up. He gonna, he, gonna, he gonna feel how he feel. All oh, niggas ain't doing this and doing that. But at the end of the day, Lil J not our only nigga locked up. I got blood brothers locked up. I got cousins locked up. I got other homies locked up, nigga. I'm only one man. I got four, five kids, my motherfucking self. You feel me? Right. I, can't deal. I got I can't take care of ass nigga by my motherfucking self. You feel me? Right. And I'm not obligated to. So whenever I do what the fuck I can do, that's what I'm gonna do it. But I don't have to do shit for no motherfuckers. While I was in the penitentiaries and behind the walls, guess what? Guess who took care of me? My mama, my grandma, and my bitches. Not a nigga I hung with every day, not a nigga I shot niggas with, not a bitch, not a nigga that I done soul crack with. Right. Shit. You feel me? Right. So, a nigga ain't gave me nothing, bro. So, at the end of the day, that's how it go, man. I done had homies that never been locked up. And when they went to jail, hey, I said, I'll see you when you get out. Just like you saw me when I got out. You feel me? Right. Get you, let you get a taste of your own medicine. Right. I hear you, bro. Any new projects, man? I seen you drop a promo or something that's for the get ready and drop that looked hot. The visual looked at Chris, too, bro. You got some new shit coming? Oh man, my new mixtape, man, Love is Hate, man, for the drop uh, Valentine's Day, my mixtape. Uh. Uh, mixtapes, all that shit, man. Make sure y'all go get that. You feel me? Make sure everybody goes get that. Love is Hate, Love is Hate, remember that, man. Uh, you got some features on there? I love you, I hate you. You feel me? Alright. Shit, shit for real. Bitches, that like they love you, I hate you. You feel me? Right. For real. Man, any features from the squad on there, bro? I got Duck, I got Billions now. Uh. I'm on I got famous uh, Dexter. Uh. Watch. <laughs> I got one fucking uh, Monte Rich. I got Skeezy World Goo Wop. Uh. Yeah, Skeezy World Goo Wop. I got my fucking Skeezy World Gino. I got my fucking Skeezy World Lil Mo. I got FG Duck Bill. Uh. I got uh, this little female uh, from Harvard named Shauna on there. Uh. Me and her did a little duet on that bitch. Uh. Uh, who else I got on there? I think that's really it. I, I really ain't got no too many other features. I got my brothers that's Skeezy Gang and Cowboys. Uh, that's really it. Bro, that's uh, it. Hey, fam, and my nigga Hey Fam Nino. Okay. Monte that... Rich, my little brother. 
Uh, that shit sound hot too, bro, with all the features on there. I want to tell you something too, Yellow, bro. Your lives be off the chain, bro. Huh? Your Instagram lives be off the chain, bro. Oh, man, you know, man, they be on there sucking a lot of dick. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I be seeing you be going crazy.